So I'm going to show you a couple of experiments I've been doing uh, when casting the, the Gray Fox Eye. Um, this is the first one I did, it's just cast in Smoothcast 300 and I used it mainly to clean the mold, uh, which is a, a two-part mold. And you can see there's a couple of grooves in, in, the, in the piece which I use later to attach a diffuser uh, into it. Uh, first I tried using a polyester resin by Casting Craft and I didn't like the results at all. Uh, too many bubbles and the cast is, is a little is a little on the wobbly side. Uh, I don't know if it's because I didn't mix it properly or I didn't use the correct ratio but uh, it's been like this for, for 48 hours and then I don't like the results. Next I used a polyester resin which is very nice and, and optically clear. Um, I'm, I'm liking it a lot except I still can't get it to cure fully. Um, this one's not so so gummy as the other one, it's a little harder but uh, it's the, the surface is tacky so I have to figure out how to get rid of that tackiness. Um, and then I did another experiment with uh, with another color just to, to try a different technique, see if I could get rid of the tackiness. And in this one I put the two layers of diffuser paper uh, in there. Uh, there's two grooves like I said before uh, to attach the diffuser paper. So now let's see what it looks like when I light it up with the General's Harm. Now I don't think the camera is doing it justice because it's too diffused and it's overblown so I'm going to change the, the exposure levels. All right, there it is with the exposure level down. And that's a little bit more like it. Uh, I don't think the camera has the dynamic range to display this properly. But with the two diffuser layers, you can see still a little bit, a couple of dots. And there's not a full, uh, full plane disc of light like I would like, but it still looks pretty good. I'm going to show you what it looks like without the diffuser. Yeah, exactly like that. So you can see those nice refractions. You can see in the center there, you see that uh, secondary halo. I'm really liking that effect. Um, that's why I really like this type of, uh, of resin. Uh, you can see with the uh, epoxy resin, um, you don't get that inside halo there of, of, uh, of light that you would get because of its the refractive halo. I mean it's there but you can't see because of all the all the bubbles and how opaque this is so not not liking this this result at all. I may use it like I said as a backup uh, but not my first choice so check that out once again. Ooh, so cool. Alright thanks for watching.